Inside Life of Leonardo DiCaprio We have all heard about the famous Titanic star Leonardo DiCaprio. That is probably the reason he has 54 million followers on Instagram. But did you know about the inside life of Leonardo? Probably not. Don't worry about that. In today's video, we dive into the lavish lifestyle of Leonardo DiCaprio. From his mansions to yachts to cars, everything will be revealed here today. But before we dive in there, let's look into the early life of Leonardo. Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio was born on November 11, 1974 in Los Angeles, California. He is the only child of Ermelin, Nay Indenbirken, a legal secretary, and George DiCaprio, an underground comics writer, publisher, and distributor of comic books. DiCaprio's parents met while attending college and moved to Los Angeles after graduating. His father is of Italian and German descent. He attended the Los Angeles Center for Enriched Studies for four years and later the Seeds Elementary School before enrolling at the John Marshall High School. He dropped out of high school following his third year, eventually earning a general equivalency diploma. DiCaprio first acted at age five, performing on the children's television show Romper Room, and as a teenager, he made numerous commercials and educational films. In 1990, he began appearing on a series of television shows, including The New Lassie and Roseanne. And in 1991, he was cast in a recurring role on Growing Pains. That year, DiCaprio also made his big screen debut in Critters 3, a low-budget horror film. DiCaprio's breakthrough came in 1992 when he beat out 400 other hopefuls to act opposite Robert De Niro in This Boy's Life, 1993. Now let's look at where Leonardo DiCaprio lives. House is owned by Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio, who came from a very humble beginning, has quite a variety of choices when it comes to where he lives. With an estimated net worth of $260 million, 189 million pounds, Leonardo DiCaprio has plenty of spare change for snapping up real estate. He currently resides in the Bird Streets neighborhood of Los Angeles, but owns a plethora of properties across California. According to Realtor, after Leo rose to fame, he snapped up the incredible estate high in the Hollywood Hills. The compound is actually formed from two neighboring properties, one of which Leo purchased from Madonna in the 90s. During his ownership, Leo has renovated and extended the estate, adding a basketball court to the grounds. Various actors have rented Leo's digs out over the years, including the likes of Tobey Maguire. Leonardo DiCaprio also has two apartment complexes in Manhattan, known as River House, One Rockefeller Park, the eco-friendly apartment building was the perfect choice for environmentalist Leo. Overlooking Battery Park, it comes equipped with filtered water, a 50-foot lap pool, and yoga studio. Leo also owns a property in Palm Springs, California, which he bought in 2014. The property comes equipped with two saunas, a guest house, an outdoor pool, a tennis court, a cocktail bar, and a screening room. He also owns a dreamy historic home in the Las Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles known as Red Oak Manor. The stunning residence dates back to 1926 and is overflowing with charming period features, which effortlessly blend in with the home's modern touches. He also owns a beachfront pad in the popular city of Malibu. Leonardo DiCaprio has a property portfolio of a whopping sum of $35.4 million. So far we have seen where Leo lives and how he enjoys his vacations. Now let us look at Yachts Owned by the Hollywood Star. Yachts Owned by Leonardo DiCaprio Unfortunately, Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't own a yacht. However, the Oscar-winning actor has been seen aboard various luxury yachts like Topaz, partying and enjoying with a few of his friends. Further investigation shows that he rented the yacht Topaz from the owner Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Cars owned by Leonardo DiCaprio Leonardo DiCaprio is an environmentalist who has a strong campaign against global warming, so it's no surprise as to what type of cars there are lurking around the celebrity's collection. Let's take a look at what cars Leonardo DiCaprio chooses to drive. Starting with the quickest supercar in the world, Leo owns a Tesla Roadster which has a powerful three-phase, four-pole AC induction motor, which can generate power up to 288 horsepower and 380 Nm of torque, which is really insane. He also has a Lexus RX Hybrid, Fisker Karma, Volvo XC90, Toyota Prius, and a Porsche Cayenne. Leo's car collection has an estimated worth of $558,900. Private Jets Owned by DiCaprio Like most celebrities, Leonardo DiCaprio has been seen flying private over the years, but it is unclear if he is the owner of the luxurious accommodations in the sky or whether he rented them. However, we know that when the Hollywood star chooses to fly private, he flies in style. 
From the state-of-the-art technology equipped on the jets to the soft leather seating with elegantly fitted rooms for maximum comfort and a fully stocked bar, Leo doesn't spare any expenses and he enjoys himself to the fullest. For charter, the luxurious home in the sky costs up to $6,000 per renting hour. Other properties owned by Leonardo DiCaprio like many millionaires, Leonardo DiCaprio has purchased himself a private paradise island, and it didn't cost him nearly as much as you might expect. Leo paid just over $1.7 million in 2005 for Blackador K, a 104-acre isle off the coast of Belize. According to the New York Times, the Oscar-winning star is planning on opening an eco-resort on the island, much like this one on Southwater K. The luxury hideaway was set to open in 2018, but so far there's no news of when it might be finished. Leo's Watch Collection Leonardo, who is one of Hollywood's most successful actors, also has an exquisite taste and style. He has a watch collection that would make anyone jealous. Here are watches in his collection. A Rolex Cosmograph Daytona, a Tag Heuer Carrera, a Tag Heuer Aqua Racer, a Jaeger Lake Coulter, Master Control, a Tag Heuer Professional, and a Breitling Chrono Avenger, among others. He has also been seen wearing a Paytech Philip Nautilus. He happens to be the fourth owner of the watch, with a Tiffany blue dial in 2021. Up until now we have seen expenses. Now let's see how Leo makes his money. Leonardo DiCaprio earns most of his money from his movies, which are mostly a huge success in terms of finances. He has the record of most sales from a movie with the movie Titanic, and various of his movies over the years have been a huge success, earning him a lot of money. Leo also has investments in various companies, startups, which include Diamond Foundry, Rubicon Global, Casper, Sujo Life, Q Health, QLU, Mobile, and Fisker Automotive. Although most are startups, Leo has an estimated investment of $156.5 million in all these companies. Apart from these, Leonardo DiCaprio is also the owner of Appian Way Productions, a film and television production company based in Los Angeles, which has produced various movies since its opening and has won various awards globally since then. Philanthropy Work by Leo in 2016, DiCaprio took part in an annual fundraising gala event for Children of Armenia Fund as a special guest of his close friend and gala's honorary chair, Tony Shafazi. DiCaprio contributed $65,000 to the cause. After Hurricane Harvey in 2017, DiCaprio provided $1 million to the United Way Harvey Recovery Fund through his foundation. In 2020, DiCaprio's foundation donated $3 million to Australia bushfire relief efforts. Amidst the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, the media announced DiCaprio donated $10 million to support Ukraine, although the news agency Associated Press suggested the amount was inaccurate. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below about your favorite part. Also, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates.